it is really easy for me to become overwhelmed when I go to coffee shops and when I go to the local flower sand cafe over in Berwyn I just tell Raquel like just make me whatever I don't know not too sweet that's all I care about and usually use oat milk and it's coffee it's a latte she uses really good coffee there and it's I get very shaky um but I didn't know what she was putting in my coffee and one day I asked her and she said she uses maple flavoring like a maple syrup and I was wondering can I finally use my maple syrup to do this recipe like to give myself kind of a similar flavor so this one is from a bourbon cast this is all the way from Vermont my friend Crystal sent it to me go follow her this is Crystal I will tag her here but this is going to become my coffee drink today so we're going to see if it's good I've seen various people do things with like cold foam mixtures and things like that we're going to keep it really simple I'm going to make an iced coffee though and I'm going to add oat milk and this and I'm using whatever's left over from my coffee that I've had in the grinder but I am going to be switching up coffees very soon. This is going to be the next coffee that I start using. So if you want to order this right now, order it so you can follow along with my recipes and you can see what I'm doing. This is a pecan and like coconut. It is super good. And you like, I'm going to go on about this, but this coffee is so good that I don't even need to add sweetener. I'm just saying that this is recipes coming soon. Okay. This is my strong coffee and I'm going to add some ice and uh, let's do the thing. The kids are on spring break, so give me a second here. You know, I'm really happy to make recipes again, and I always talk about homeschooling the kids because I like when they're home, because I enjoy my children. I don't enjoy the amount of food I have to cook, though. This is very hot coffee. It says strong. I don't know if it's going to be as strong as I want it to be, but it should still be a good cup of coffee, nevertheless. So the way I saw people use this a lot of the time was that they would use a good amount of maple syrup, almost like one or two pumps, and then they would add like their milk component and froth it up. So if I have the ability to do that, I will. Alex, I need your help. My hand still doesn't work. So now I'm gonna add the syrup. I don't know how much I'm supposed to add, so we're gonna just go to taste. That may be too much or it may be too little. I'm still using the everyday dose frother, even though I don't drink as much everyday dose as I used to. But. It's awesome because it smells like bourbon too. That's really good. That's really good. You know what I really want? One of those damn ice cream things. I was supposed to get one, but then they didn't give it to me. Look how cold it looks. Okay, so it's still a little warm on the bottom, so I'm gonna drink from the top but I already can smell the amazingness that it is. And I would recommend using espresso if you have it or the instant kind of coffee that they do those like drinks on, but for what it's worth, it's the perfect amount of sweetness and it tastes a little bit like bourbon. So without, you know, the bourbon, so.